really i'm looking at my notes y'all <sighs> i don't have to keep saying this i've said it in plenty of videos if you don't know by now rewatch the videos so um what truly makes you happy hi welcome back to my channel my name is zaria i am a content creator i make personal growth spirituality veganism and financial freedom content so if that interests you please be sure to com comment please be sure to subscribe and hit that bell notification so you know every single time we upload which is every sunday wednesday and friday so today's video we will be talking about how to make your dreams achievable goals turning your dreams from dreams into achievable goals goals that can happen that will happen successfully and how to make sure they're not just dreams when you're sleeping so <laughs> let's jump right into it um the first thing you need to do is figure out what you want from life so when i say that i'm not talking about what is the perfect job for you what accolades do you want really i'm looking at my notes y'all i don't have to keep saying this i've said it in plenty of videos if you don't know by now rewatch the videos so um what truly makes you happy what makes you content in life what makes you feel fulfilled that's really what you need to figure out in order to figure out how to make your dreams achievable goals that's the first step um because sometimes we realize as we get older in life and as life keeps going and going we realize that dreams and the things we thought we wanted are not exactly what we need or what makes us happy um yeah the second thing is remember there's more than one way to get to where you want to go um and it really may surprise you what path you end up on um i think the best way to like give an example of this is let me see Who's like famous and didn't go on the path they thought they were gonna go on? Okay, I'm gonna talk about, um, y'all know who Rihanna is. Everybody knows who Rihanna is. <laughs> so, Rihanna originally was a music artist and I'm not sure specifically what her goals are cause I'm not a huge, huge fan. I don't watch her interviews or anything like that, but I'm sure her goals had to do with um since i'm seeing the way her life has gone probably financial freedom and financial um secureness and then of course some other things empowering the women and people of her community but let's just say those are her goals or her dreams she um started out as a music artist she was doing just that uh, achieving her dreams but it seemed as time went, that wasn't necessarily what was fulfilling her, what was giving her life purpose. It wasn't really making her completely content with life. And she moved on to the beauty industry. And it's a, it's a beautiful thing for people to be able to see that just because you're trying to reach a certain goal doesn't mean you have to take only one path to get there. Okay. Um, so you really never know what path you'll end up on. Um, and to try and plan out your path is sometimes a bit, what's the word I'm looking for? Assumptuous, it's a bit assumptuous and it puts you in a box and keeps you and your perspective on life from branching out to be able to see other solutions to you getting to your goals um number three number three is set everything up in your life to make sure your dreams can actually happen 
And I did just mention that you can't plan out every step, but there are certain things that need to happen before other things can happen. Like if you know you wanna be a doctor, I'm sorry, you, you can't just jump into being a doctor. You gotta go to medical school. If you know you want to start a business and open up a business, you gotta make sure you have funds to open up that business. Things like that. You have to make sure that you set up everything that needs to happen now so that your dreams can happen later and they're achievable goals. They're not just dreams. Okay, number four is to always remember it won't happen overnight. It's not, you're not gonna just wake up one day and be like, oh my God, my dreams are achieved because I like haven't even done anything yet. And I just started doing everything to get my dreams to come true yesterday. That's, it's not gonna happen like that. Um, I mean, of course there are, there are extenuating circumstances. Sometimes it does happen like that, but generally, it's not gonna happen like that. It's gonna take some time. And um, one thing I do wanna mention about that, just because it's gonna take some time, don't always be living in the future and being like, oh, well, when my dreams come true, I'll be able to do this and this. And I'll just wait until my dreams come true to do this and this. Make sure you're still living life and make sure you're still living life and not just existing. Um, number five, is recognize and celebrate the milestones and not just the end goals because that's part of like i said living life and not just existing when you recognize the milestones you're like like i said if you're trying to be a doctor you're like okay i graduated high school look at me here i go you just graduated high school celebrate that and now you're in your second year of college celebrate that you're like i've come so far I'm not a high school anymore I'm a grown adult I turned 21 <laughs> or whatever when you graduate undergraduate school celebrate it celebrate it don't just be like oh I still have so far to go I'm not where I want to be yet celebrate that then you're gonna get to medical school then you're gonna do your residency celebrate those and celebrate everything in between life is a celebration you don't want to wake up one day and you're 40 and you're like i i've just have never been happy in life even though i have all my dreams and my goals i'm not happy i've never been happy in life and just because you reach your dream and your goal if you haven't been celebrating those milestones and those little wins you're not going to really know how to celebrate the big win you have to practice that okay what's next okay number six be present and in the moment and not just focusing on the future and i basically kind of already talked about that but i'm gonna mention it one more time so in order to actually appreciate your goals once you've reached them you really do have to make sure you're living in life in the moment because once you get to that goal, life is not a destination, it's a journey. Like you just have to keep, you have to keep living life. Once you reach that goal, what's gonna happen after that? You don't really have anything to look forward to anymore or to hope for or to plan or to do because you've only ever been worried about achieving that one goal. I was saying that life is a journey and um, you have to really soak up the journey for what it is and like really love the journey. You can't just be waiting for the end because your goal isn't where life ends. Death is where life ends. Um, next is number seven, which is even though the path may change, make a plan or multiple plans and update and change those plans regularly. So, we're not gonna specifically prep like churn out a whole life plan because or you can but just make sure you're comfortable with knowing it can change and make sure you're comfortable with changing it um if you map out your whole lifespan and then something happens and you can't achieve parts of that lifespan if you're not comfortable with change oh 
if, <laughs> if you're not comfortable to change, that's gonna send you into a bit of a crisis. That's gonna make life really hard for you in that moment. Um, so just make sure you're comfortable with change and you're comfortable with adaptation in order to achieve what you really, really want and need in life in order to achieve your purpose. Okay, number not, number eight, I don't know why I said nine. Number eight, and then we only have one more. And I'm gonna be done, this was a short video. Um, live your life and mindset as though you already have your dream life. If you are, ooh, if your dream life is, I want to be healthy and fit and I have certain goals and expectations for what that looks like by the end of my journey, which isn't something you necessarily need to be thinking. It's just more like once you reach this point, you keep it up um, or you set new goals, new achievable things. Um, you, what was I saying? Oh, you, you don't need to be like, okay, um, at the new year, I'll start doing it or in about two years, I'll start doing it. I'll start living that mindset. You need to make sure every single day you're working towards and really experiencing what that is supposed to look like in the future. You need to, if you're, if you have fitness goals, you need to make sure your nutrition is on. You need to make sure you have a workout routine or whatever your fitness is. Your mindset has to be right in order for that goal to actually happen it's not gonna happen and you're not gonna be able to accept it and fully live in it if your mindset is not there it's just not because mindsets are so powerful they really set the tone of how your life is going and how your life is going to continue to go so you just have to make sure your mindset is right and if it's not make sure that you can find the help and the resources that you need to get your mindset right and then finally number nine that's weird i could have just i should have just tried to make this a 10 number list but so i could say 10 things but it's nine <laughs> number nine you won't be waiting for your dream life you will just one day genuinely wake up and be like this is the life that I wanted to be living and you're going to fully appreciate it and soak it in for what it is because you've been present and you've been you've been working towards it um what else yeah that's honestly why also why being present is so important being present in the moments and in the, the present. <laughs> being present in the present. Um, it's, the present is a gift for a reason. It's, if you're not able to appreciate it for what it is, you can't see what you've come through, what has really gotten you to where you are because you have no concept of the past because you had no experience with the present when it was happening and now it's in the past so overall i think the main themes for this are to be present to celebrate your wins and to prepare and live the mindset um so that your dreams can actually become goals that you've achieved yeah um that's all for today's video thank you thank you thank you for watching be sure to like comment and subscribe and when you subscribe hit that bell notification so you know every single time we upload which is every sunday wednesday and friday once again Thank you, thank you, thank you for watching. I hope you learned something I know I did and have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful day. Thank you. Here go the bus, the bus again.
<laughs> I'm not talking about jobs and